this isn't at all what I expected. Um, driving along and I happened to see the turn off to Bridport. Looked kind of pretty on the map that I was, on the GPS that I was using. I could see that there was ocean, so I decided to turn off and have a look. Take a look at this place. Just come across this beautiful little beach. Um, there are some terns fishing. I'm th gonna sit here for a little while and see if I can get some photos. The sun though is just in an awful spot, um, so it's quite difficult because I'm trying to look into the sun to actually shoot with the phone at the moment. Uh, yeah, see how we go. I think I'm gonna keep moving and see what I can find. Just driving along this rural Tasmanian back road. And up there, there are two wedged out eagles. Ravens are going absolutely crazy at the moment. Uh, either because two wedged out eagles have just shown up and they quite often mob them or generally dislike them. Or because a stranger has just pulled up in their car and spooked them all. <laughs> Look at all these sheep. Uh, I've headed towards a place called Mount William National Park. Those from southern Tasmania, as I am, might have heard of Mount King William National Park. This is in fact an entirely different place in northeastern Tasmania. And the times I've been here in the past, I've actually seen quite a few wedged out eagles. I've only been here twice, and this is a pretty good start to the day. <laughs> what an amazing spot. The drive down here is just stunning. So much farmland, so many birds as well along the road, particularly ravens and carawongs as they so often are on Tasmania's roads. Um, I've now got the path I'm heading down, which is just up there, and I'm going to be walking up to the one sort of hilly thing in this area. It's really quite beautiful from a distance. I'll hope to get some footage of it from somewhere. A really nice smooth slope up to a summit, surrounded by just this flat plain. The other people who are here have just left, so now I've got this whole place to myself. I've sometimes heard people say, ah oh, jeez, you're lucky this isn't smell vision <laughs> on some documentary where they're walking into a tip or something far worse. <laughs> Today though I kind of wish it was. The smell of this forest is so beautiful. It's um it's the sort of smell that you would be quite happy to find in a soap. Maybe at like a sort of small shop in a rural place somewhere. Beautiful little funky. They're huge too, like. There's a fair few of them. That may have been a bit of an understatement. Look at them all. Oh. As I was sitting there taking photos, I saw a leech. So. I hope I've got everything I need. Actually, as I'm walking along, look at that one. I... Freaking huge. Wow, this place is cool. Now coming into a completely different type of forest. This one, much more open, with grass trees. I think that's what they're called, not sure. They're certainly not the cutting grass you get elsewhere. Below a canopy of smaller eucalypts and banksias, I think. Bit of a hill, but just starting to see the view.
that's where we come from. And that's where we're headed. Trees have changed again. More of these. I'm not sure what they are. Ones with really tiny leaves. The occasional cloudy eucalypt. And another that I don't know. <laughs> again with very small leaves. There we go. Oh. Try not to fall off. Ah. Take a look at this. So, over this way, we have Mount William National Park. I believe I'm actually standing on the summit of Mount William at the moment. And over in the other direction, down over there, is farmland. So I can actually hear cows calling from where I'm currently standing. It does feel a bit like the edge of the world up here. As I was walking up that ocean there, it looked almost like some distant landmass with big hills. I'm not sure what that is out there. Maybe the southern tip of Cape Barren Island, I think it's called. Yeah, there we go, those hills. You can see way off in the distance. I'll look that up and put it on the screen, I hope. Or I might not. <laughs> I get lazy sometimes. The dappled light over this forest really does add something. While well, standing up here, I just saw a witch eagle fly down below me, actually. I didn't think I got any footage of it, and it seems to have flown off. But that is two likely different, well, three individuals, two groups of witch eagle I've seen today. That was a delightful little walk, and one which I would highly recommend. However, returning to the car does raise the question of where I'm off to next. I've long wanted to get that shot of like a wallaby or kangaroo, mid-hop, you know, the classic sort of, if you've seen the Qantas logo, that sort of thing. It's just, it's quite difficult. <laughs> this wallaby has just walked right towards me. <laughs> Admittedly, I was eating, and I suspect that's what's drawn it. Hello. Oh, look at you. guys really should not eat human food. Um, I believe bread even um, can give them real digestive problems. Look at this 
this little guy. <laughs> well, I've just spent a while with this little guy. <laughs> I've got some photos, I think, but like, it just let me get so close. I've never had anything like that before. Even with tame animals, I mean, aside from possums, of course, or that kind of stuff, and they're normally at night. This is like wonderful evening light, and this guy just does not care. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> I got some shots that I have certainly never got of wallabies before, so I'm thrilled. <laughs> and now I'm going to do, I guess, what I sort of came here for, ish. I didn't really have a plan, but there's a beach. I'm going to go for a wander along it. I'm actually not sure where I'm headed off to now, but time will tell. It's about four o'clock, so about maybe another hour and a bit. So yeah. Some decisions to make on the way out. Whether I stop or do I just head home? I'll admit to being somewhat paralyzed by indecision at the moment. <laughs> There's so many places to go and I don't have long left of the sun. Oh well, okay, this isn't a path. <laughs> I've come up to what was signposted as a lookout and it does seem that the trees have somewhat grown since this place was built. Three wedged out eagles, right out in the open. So pretty. And where they're sitting too is just perfect. Oh, I wish I could get closer, but I know that the moment I get out of this car, they're gonna fly away. Only one left now. I think a good photo of a wedge tailed eagle is gonna have to wait for another day. Always. It's always the way. You either see them just before you have your camera ready, just after you put your camera away, just slightly too far away or in too bright a sky so that they're little more than a silhouette, or just after the sun's gone down and it's a bit too dark to ever get a good photo. Very impressive birds though. I believe they're the largest eagle um, by wingspan on the planet. Or at least they're among the largest, if not the largest. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I don't know how well that comes across on camera, but it's really quite impressive in person. Well, the sun's gone down, the stars are out, but time to get home and have some food. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll hope to see you next time.